Clark's Three Laws from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. British science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke formulated three adages that are known as Clarke's Three Laws, of which the third law is the best known and most widely cited. They were part of his ideas in his extensive writings about the future. These so-called laws include 1. When a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, he is almost certainly right. When he states that something is impossible, he is very probably wrong. 2. The only way of discovering the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. 3. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Origins One account claimed that Clark's laws were developed after the editor of his works in French started numbering the author's assertions. All three laws appear in Clark's essay, Hazards of Prophecy, The Failure of Imagination, first published in Profiles of the Future, 1962. However, they were not published at the same time. Clark's first law was proposed in the 1962 edition of the essay as Clark's Law in Profiles of the Future. The second law is offered as a simple observation in the same essay, but its status as Clark's second law was conferred by others. It was initially a derivative of the first law and formally became Clark's second law, where the author proposed the third law in the 1973 revision of Profiles of the Future, which included an acknowledgment. It was also here that Clark wrote about the third law in these words, quote, As three laws were good enough for Newton, I have modestly decided to stop there, end quote. The third law, despite being latest, stated by a decade, is the best known and most widely cited. It appears only in the 1973 revision of the Hazards of Prophecy essay. It echoes a statement in a 1942 story by Lee Brackett, quote, witchcraft to the ignorant, simple science to the learned, end quote. Earlier examples of this sentiment may be found in Wild Talents, 1932, by Charles Fort, quote, a performance that may someday be considered understandable, but that, in these primitive times, so transcends what is said to be the known that it is what I mean by magic, end quote. And in the short story, The Hound of Death, 1933, by Agatha Christie, quote, the supernatural is only the natural of which the laws are not yet understood, end quote. See also Ludwig von Mises' Inhuman Action, 1940, English Scholar's Edition, page 37, quote, Magic is in the broader sense a variety of technology, end quote. Clark gave an example of the third law when he said that while he, quote, would have believed anyone who told him back in 1962 that there would one day exist a book-sized object capable of holding the content of an entire library, he would never have accepted that the same device could find a page or word in a second and then convert it into any typeface and size from Albertus Extra Bold to Zurich Calligraphic, end quote, referring to his memory of, quote, seeing and hearing linotype machines which slowly converted molten lead into front pages that required two men to lift them, end quote. Variants of the Third Law The Third Law has inspired many snow clones and other variations. Any sufficiently advanced extraterrestrial intelligence is indistinguishable from God, Shermer's Last Law. Any sufficiently advanced act of benevolence is indistinguishable from malevolence, referring to artificial intelligence. The following two variants are very similar and combine the Third Law with Hanlon's Razor. Any sufficiently advanced cluelessness is indistinguishable from malice, Clark's Law. Any sufficiently advanced incompetence is indistinguishable from malice, Gray's Law. Any sufficiently advanced troll is indistinguishable from a genuine kook, or the viewpoints of even the most extreme crank are indistinguishable from sufficiently advanced satire, Poe's Law. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from a rigged demo. Any sufficiently advanced idea is distinguishable from mere magical incantation, provided the former is presented as a mathematical proof, verifiable by sufficiently competent mathematicians. Any sufficiently crappy research is indistinguishable from fraud, Andrew Gelman. A contrapositive of the third law is, any technology distinguishable from magic is insufficiently advanced, Gem's corollary. The third law has been reversed for fictional universes involving magic. Any sufficiently analyzed magic is indistinguishable from science, or any sufficiently arcane magic is indistinguishable from technology. Expanded for fictional universes focusing on science fiction, any technology, no matter how primitive, is magic to those who don't understand it. See also List of eponymous laws, links to articles on laws, principles, adages, and other succinct observations or predictions named after a person, Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics, and Niven's Laws, author Larry Niven's rules about how the universe works.
This article was recorded on November 13, 2019.